everybody, welcome back to another video. And I'm an absolute idiot. I'm an idiot because I wasn't recording and look what I just caught. Look what I just freaking caught, ladies and gentlemen. This is, in fact, one of my biggest brown trout of my life. Look at that fish. Oh, I am, I am in shock right now. I don't even know what to say. Look at that. That thing is probably 22 inches, a good four pounds or so. This is the biggest brown I've caught all year. Easy, one of my biggest ever. With big fish like this, I always try to keep them in the water because obviously I want to get some video and pictures. So I'm just kind of letting them sit in the water. Hopefully it doesn't jump out. All right, so I've got a lot of pictures of her, a lot of video. I think we're gonna let her go. Look at that. Absolute beast. Unbelievable, my biggest brown in a long time. Oh, she's ready to go. Oh, she's ready. She's ready. Oh man, I just wanna make sure. Oh, <laughs> there she goes. Oh man. Gotcha. Well guys, I really don't know how to feel about that. Excited that I caught that fish but disappointed that I missed probably some of the coolest footage I could have had all year. But anyway, let me lay down the scenario. For the past week or so, I haven't really been able to get out fishing very much. And when I have, it's pretty much been a fail. Haven't been wanting to go ice fishing. So I came to this river just to see what it, what was going on. I didn't have very high hopes at all, but uh, threw in a spinner and within just a few minutes, man, just right there too, right on those rocks close to shore. And when I hooked him, I was like, Oh my gosh, I didn't even make a noise. I was like, I missed this hook set. I don't even have my camera. So I netted him, put him in my little live well I made, ran to my truck, grabbed my camera, and there we go. Whew. One thing's for sure though, if we get another fish like that, I am going to get it on camera because I'm not shutting this camera off for nothing. But anyway, I caught that fish with this little black rooster tail. I, I believe it's a rooster tail. It might even be one of those $1 Walmart spinners. Yeah, it probably is. I mean, he bent it out quite a bit. Kind of a low quality spinner, but hey, you see what kind of fish it can catch. And I'm just using my ultralight setup today. Makes it 10 times more fun to fight these fish. What I did, I let the spinner sink all the way to the bottom and as slowly as I could go, just creeped it in like that. This time of year, the trout are really, really sluggish, sitting on the bottom, not wanting to move a whole lot. I mean, that fish, when he bit, he didn't fight at all. Like. He literally just came right up to me. Didn't even really attempt to fight. Dang, that fish bent this spinner out pretty good. I tried to bend it back, but it's just not swimming as good as it was, you know? There's one. There's one. There we go, boys, on the white jig, on the white jig. It looks like a, what is that? Oh man, what do we have here? What do we have here? I honestly have no idea what I have on right now. It's a trout. Is that a brown? What the heck is, is that a cutthroat? Dude, he is freaking strong. Oh, I think that's a rain, yeah, it's just a rainbow, I think. This guy is fighting twice as hard as that brown, and he's about a third the size. That's so crazy. All right, come here, bud. Just barely hooked there on the nose. Yep. There we are, folks. That is dinner. It's kind of a weird looking trout. He looks really, really beat up. And he's got some kind of orange markings there on his side. He's gonna taste amazing, I can assure you that. On that little white jig. I'm gonna knock him out real quick. Close your eyes. That is a beautiful fish right there. Kind of a different looking rainbow. Super, super white, not a whole lot of color. I mean, I, I literally couldn't tell what it was, but uh, just a rainbow. Um, I'd say this is about the average size in here, so sweet. You know what, we're actually gonna waste no time. We're just gonna clean this trout out right here. Oh man, they have been feeding on something. A lot of bugs. There's lots of crawdads in here, so they should have a good time finding this stuff. And there we go. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, he's still moving. Look at that. That's how fresh he is. But he's just got those nerves that are still active, I guess. 
Well, dang. I can't find my cooking stuff. I don't even know if I brought it. I mean, I don't think I did. I can't find it. Can't find it back here. Nowhere back there. Not in here. Dang it. Well, that sucks, guys. I really wanted to cook this fish up for you. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. Ew, look at all that slime dripping off of him. Gross. I, I wonder if we could eat this guy raw. Should we eat this guy raw? I mean, obviously not the whole thing, but I mean, it looks really, really clean. You know, it's got pink meat. And if you're going to eat a fish raw, it's good to do it in the winter time when the water's clean. I mean, we might as well. Can't kill us, right? Because I can just use this as good clickbait, you know, eating freshwater fish. All right, we need to get a boneless piece. Hmm. I don't know, man. We'll just cut a little section out of the top. Look at that. Just a little trout nugget there. It's got bones in it, but just one spine bone. There we go, we got a little piece of orange trout meat. I just went and rinsed it off in the river. There's a lot of mud on it. I'm gonna see if I can get rid of that skin on top. I don't wanna eat raw trout skin. Okay, you know what, skin's not coming off. Forget it. We're just gonna bite around the skin. You know, there's actually a video on Tim Galati's channel. I don't know if any of you guys have seen his channel, but he actually caught a trout one time, full skin and everything, just held it up and took a big bite out of it. So I figure this isn't quite as nasty as that, but definitely not preferred over cooked fish. All right, I'm just gonna try this. <sighs> Take a little bite right there. Mmm. Mmm. it. <coughs> Did it. Oh man. Whew. That wasn't very good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh man. I don't think I'm gonna eat the rest of that piece. Sorry. You know what guys, to be honest, that was disgusting. I'm never gonna do that again. Ooh, it didn't even have any flavor. It's just like just mush. Just it wasn't even fishy. It's just mush. Some of you are probably going to comment what an idiot I am for eating freshwater fish raw, but who cares, man? If it kills me, it kills me. It's not going to kill me. I tried it so you don't have to. I really wish I would have brought my cooking stuff, but hey. Now we're just going to fish the rest of the day. We've got like three hours left of daylight. Hopefully we can catch another one of those big browns. The bites have been few and far between, but we'll see if we can get another one. I'm actually going to throw on my waders. These waders do have a small little leak in them. It's not too bad, like obviously they're still they're still usable, but once you get up to about mid-thigh, there's a little hole and you start leaking, so. Okay, this is another good looking spot. It's really slow moving and I know that there's a big deep hole out there. I mean, look at all that white foam. There's a big deep spot right here. 100% there's fish right here. Look at that guys, found a little minnow floating down. That is what these fish are feeding on, no doubt. Look at that little guy. Oh, now he's got some life in him. Huh. Mm, so that's what these fish are eating. Mm, nothing. Dude, I swear, if my feet are wet, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, okay, good. Whew. Well guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. I know it was kind of a short video. I just couldn't catch any fish, man. I don't know what was going on. Hooked into like a five pound brown within the first three minutes of the day and then catch a rainbow and then nothing else for the last four hours. But I guess that's just the way she goes. I was kind of worried there for a second because I thought my waders had filled up with water. My feet were just freezing, so I thought water had gotten in, but no, well, turns out I'm all dry. No holes in the waders. Well, at least in the toe. I know that there's a little hole up here, but other than that, they're looking good. So yeah, sorry I couldn't catch more fish today. I don't know what was going on. I mean, after catching that brown, oh man, I got pumped. I figured we were gonna have an epic day, but 
I don't know, I guess I jinxed myself. I mean, I'm not too surprised. It's still January, it's freezing cold. Fish aren't gonna be super active. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm gonna head out of here. I am starving. Since we didn't get to cook our fish, kinda sucks. We did get to eat a little piece of them raw, which, nasty, I'm never doing that again. Well, actually, I think there are some ways you can eat freshwater fish, like trout. It's called like ceviche or something. You pretty much just flay up the fish put it in a bowl of vinegar and the vinegar is so acidic it like literally cooks the trout so I guess that's technically kind of eating it raw but other than that man wouldn't recommend it but if you guys like this video go down there give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already I would really appreciate it but other than that thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time